Greetings, minions. Pibbling Z here. And today I get to announce the winner of the hoodie contest. I hope you're excited. I'm really super stoked. And if you didn't win, remember, there are going to be a lot more contests. And you know, we're not just here for the contest. We're here for the fun and the information and the camaraderie. So stick with me and who knows what's going to come in the future. Mm -hmm. Um, before I get to naming who it is that won the hoodie, I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. One, if you watched my last video, thank you so much for your support and for the comments and just for the views and for, you know, the understanding. It was really, really cool of you guys. If you did not, for whatever reason, but especially if you chose not to because you knew it was going to be rough, that's totally fine. That is also very supportive and you need to take care of yourself. You're more important to me than views. You're more important to me than comments. So please take care of you. And that was just really cool that you guys kind of came together as a minion who rely on each other because together we can do anything. A little domination, baby. So um, I wanted to uh, address something that a minion had actually reached out to me about because I thought it'd be kind of fun, you know, and because I, I like talking about it. They asked about my tattoos and how many I had, what they are, the meaning behind them, stuff like that. So I thought that today we would talk about my tattoos because I love ink and I plan on getting a lot more, but we have to start with these ones and I did a count and it seems I have about 14 tattoos and I know 14, but I don't see them as being very big or anything. So I'm like, yeah, there's a lot more room so I can totally get more tattoos. Um, I am also reserving my upper left arm because I'm going to have a half sleeve done and I want it to be Haunted Mansion themed because I love Disney's Haunted Mansion so much. That's like my dream house. So as to my other tattoos, I will try to give these an order, but I don't know if I'll actually give them an order because I kind of forget sometimes when I got them, but I know why I got them all. The first tattoo I got is on my left calf and it's a small rose. You see, I was married to someone before I was married to Uncle Paul and it was a very abusive relationship. And at one point I had decided that I was going to leave that relationship and, and save myself and save my son, Jacob. So I went and I got a tattoo to symbolize both that decision, that momentous occasion, and also because he had forbade me from getting a tattoo. And I do what I want, so I got the tattoo. And I still have it, and I still love it. I love all of my ink, pretty much. Um, the next tattoo I got is on my right calf, and it's a dagger with a rose wrapped around it. And Uncle Paul has the same tattoo, a little smaller, but the same tattoo on his bicep. We got those tattoos when we were together for about a year, yeah, pretty much a year. And then after that, I think, this is where the order gets a little wonky, I think my third one is on my left wrist, I have Lad's Mark. And I got that after everything had been designed for the book, but before eighth grade bikes had even come out, because I wanted to be the first one to have Lad's Mark, and I am. So I'm really super excited because I figure if he lives in my head, then I should have his mark. Simple enough, right? After that, um, let's, it'll be like a guessing game. I have on my left inner arm, I have the heart, a big heart, and the heart is broken, but it's stitched together with like purple ribbon. And then on either side, there's a J and an A. Those are the initials of my kids, Jacob and Alex. And it's because no matter how broken I am, they mend me. And they're very, very important to me. So that's my Jacob and Alex tattoo. Uh, after that, let's see, I went to London with my sister on a trip just for fun and it was about a nine day trip and while I was there we went in and, and we got tattoos. I had this artist create this beautiful tattoo that looks like a, a sketch and it's pretty much uh, the Mad Hatter's hat and the Cheshire Cat kind of inside it with his tail sticking out and a teacup and on the tag attached to the teacup is we're all mad here. So that's pretty awesome. And then let's see what else. It's hard to remember them all. I mean, I could look, but I'm wearing a hoodie and everything's all covered up. Uh, let's see. I also have, I'm have to pull up my sleeve some. Oh, I also have on my, uh, over here, I have <laughs> my, uh, I have the North Star. And I got the North Star when Uncle Paul and I were celebrating our 15th anniversary. And because it is unwavering and it will always lead you home. I know we're so schmaltzy, isn't it awesome? And then I also have um, two tattoos on my left arm that are uh, to remind me about the fight to stay alive and why it's important. One is from a Green Day song that means a lot to me, and it says, Still Breathing. 
and then one wraps around my arm and of course it's MCR and it says I am not afraid to keep on living. Then I have, let's see, do, 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 do. I have, oh, on the inside of my right arm, I have uh, NYT with a drug block, a drug block, with a drug block, with a blood drop coming off of it because I uh, hit the New York Times when 11th grade Burns came out and my publicist at the time, Alison Burrows, she's amazing. She had called me up and said, now you'll forever be known as New York Times bestselling author, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, forever. And I said, oh my God, Alison, I have to get a tattoo. And she said, you totally do. So I did. I came home from tour and immediately got the tattoo to remind me that it took blood, sweat, and tears to get where I am and the hard work pays off. I also have a, a large tattoo. Well, it's semi-large, not really large, large, but a tattoo of a soot sprite. And it says, finish what you started, human. And I got that when I had just completed my DBT therapy that I spoke about in the last video. If you didn't watch that, it was the six month therapy program thing that taught me a lot of different skills and tools. So that basically taught me just to keep, this reminds me to keep going, to finish what you started, fight hard. Um, let's see. Um, this tattoo, it's, it's kind of touchy. I have rules when it comes to tattoos. Let me tell you the rules. The rules are never get anybody's name except for your children. Never get a tattoo of something that you would not show your grandmother or in a place that you would show your grandmother. And um, I kind of broke one of my rules and it's, it's a touchy subject. I broke one of my rules when I was going through this six year bout of heavy, heavy depression and I wasn't making very good choices at the time. And at the time I had gotten uh, Uncle Paul's name tattooed on my hand and I'm, I love him and I love tattoos, but it's just not right. I'm not comfortable with it. So I plan on getting that one removed and having it replaced like with a quill or something like that. But I, I can acknowledge when I make the mistakes and that was definitely a poor mistake, but we all make mistakes when we're going through some stuff and that's totally fine. And you know, and Uncle Paul's not like upset either way, you know, it's, he's cool. It's just one of those things that when I look at it, it reminds me of that dark time. So it's gotta go. Uh, another one of my tattoos that I absolutely love is, is this one. See, it's an infinity symbol, but it's an infinity, infinity symbol with thorns in it because uh, we got that, Uncle Paul and I got matching ones and we got those for our 24th anniversary. And it's just a nice little reminder that we're together forever, even if things sometimes get a little thorny, you know? I think that's everything. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's everything. I think. I, I don't know. I can't, if I think of any others, I'll let you know. There are other tattoos that I have planned and everything, but you know, those will, uh, those will come along later. For now, that's what I have. And I'm really super excited to share it with you because, you know, I know a lot of you have ink or a lot of you are planning on having ink. Just be really careful. One of the other rules I have is uh, no job killers. Okay. If you get, oh, I forgot this one. <laughs> Oh wait, do I have 15 tattoos then? <laughs> I have a, a purple star over here and a purple punk star. And I got that because to remind me that I am a rock star and I always will be no matter what. But um, as I was saying before, no job killers. Like unless you are firmly in a creative field like I am, then don't get like tattoos that can be visible like that or anything like that because you don't want to um, kill your chances at getting a job or keeping a job. And I just remembered another tattoo I have. I can't believe I forgot it. And my deepest apologies to Jacob because Jacob and I have this tattoo together. We got it together. Um, it's a semicolon and we both got the semicolon in the same spot. And it's to, uh, you've probably seen it around. It's the uh, basically anti-suicide you know, to, to show you that your story is not over, that it's never over, that it will always continue. And there's more story to tell. And we got these tattoos together to remind ourselves and to remind each other. So that tattoo means a lot to me. I don't know how I forgot it. I'm so sorry, Jacob. I'm a terrible parent. <laughs> but yes, no job killers because we want the minions to be able to pay their rent or pay their mortgage and, you know, to be able to feed themselves. That's really important stuff. So definitely definitely stay away from that until you're like firmly seated into a creative career. I can get tattoos pretty much anywhere now because, you know, I've been doing this for like 14 years. So it's nice. But um, let's see, what else did I want to talk about? There was one more thing and I can't remember it. So we're just going to move on. I want to 
congratulate the winner of the hoodie. But first, I want to thank each and every one of you for your support. I am so digging the love on this channel. It is so much fun. And I'm so down for whatever you guys want to do. I think next time we might talk about a little bit of writing because I know you guys love hearing about writing and stuff like that. And we'll tackle something, maybe world building or something. What do you guys want to talk about? Let me know in the comments what you want to talk about, about writing and publishing and stuff like that in particular. And let's tackle it. Or if you want, I can do a uh, answer your questions kind of thing. So whatever questions you ask about, you know, pretty much anything, ask it and I'll answer it. You know, we'll have some fun with it. You know, why not? So first off, the name, not first off, really it's any off. This is the off. There's no other off. There's just the one. So here we go. Congratulations, baby buffalo 13. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You are the winner of the last Vladimir Todd hoodie. And I'm so, so excited for you. Please email me at butyoucancallmez at gmail.com. And I will get that hoodie in the mail to you. And you can wear it and love it and post pictures. And it'll be amazing. Um, and I'm really, really happy for you. And Minions, I hope the rest of you will stick around because we've got a lot of cool stuff going on anyway. Yeah. In the future. Who knows? Maybe I'll find another hoodie. I don't know. I still haven't finished unpacking. <laughs> so you guys are, are amazing and so cool. And I just, I dig you so much. So, you know, thank you for coming by and thank you for hanging out with me. And thank you for asking me questions, whether they be wonderful or ridiculous or whatnot. Even when they're ridiculous, they're pretty wonderful. Actually, I think they might be a little more wonderful when they're ridiculous because I'm ridiculous. That's about it for me today, minions. Don't forget, Pip Lindsay loves you.